In this video, I'm going to hopefully help you to understand function notation. Function notation is really written in the form typically f of n or f of x, and it just implies that something is a function of, in this case, n. n refers to any input, where f of n refers to the outputs. In the table, we see that the n's, or the inputs, are on top, and the outputs, f of n's, are on the bottom. Now, if you look at problems number one and two, at first glance, they look pretty similar, but they're asking for very different things. Number one says f of four. This basically is asking, what is the output when the input is 4? Versus number 2, when it says f of n equals 4, what is n? This is saying, if the output is 4, what input or n value generates that output? To do this, we're going to look at number 1 again. When it says, what is f of 4, we're going to find 4 on the input table. Again, the inputs are on top. So if I find where 4 is, I see it over here. And I can see what the output is. When n is 4, f of n is 19. Therefore, I'll go ahead and write that. The answer for number 1, f of n, equals 19. Now, for number 2, it's asking something a little different. This is saying, when f of n is 4, when the, when the output is 4, what input generates this? To find the output where it's 4, I'm going to look at the bottom. And down below, I see that on the bottom, here's where the output is 4. There's f of n equals 4. To find the n value, I look up top, and I can see that n equals 1. And that's going to be the answer for number 2. So here, I'll go ahead and say n equals 1. Go ahead and try number 3 and 4 now. If you need to, hit pause. Otherwise, take a look at it for a moment and think about what your answers are going to be. I'll wait a moment before I do it. For problem 3, it says f of n equals negative 6. What is n? In this case, they're asking for the input that generates an output of negative 6. If the output is negative 6, we're going to look to the bottom of the table and find where negative 6 is. It's over here on the left-hand side. Looking at that output, I can look up top now and see that n has to be negative 1. And that's going to be the answer for number 3. n equals negative 1. For problem 4, now it says, what is f of negative 2? To find f of negative 2, that's basically asking me, when the, output's sorry, when the input rather, is negative 2, what is its output? So I'm going to look at the table and find the input, that's the top, the n values, that's equal to negative 2. It's over on the far left-hand side. To find the value of f of negative 2, I'll look below and find what its output is. In this case, f of negative 2 equals negative 11, and that's my answer f of negative 2 equals negative 11. Problems 5 through 7 are a little bit different now. These ones are going to give us an output value and then ask us to find a term in the sequence that is either going to be before or after that given term. If it says f of n minus something, that means we're looking for a previous term, which means we'll move to the left-hand side that many places. If it's f of n plus something, then it's a term after the one we're given, in which case we'll have to move to the right side that many places. So let's start by finding where f of n equals 9. I'm going to go and circle that in the table. f of n equals 9 is right here, where n is 2. Now looking at the problem, they're saying, find f of n minus 3. That's really three terms previous to f of n. So starting with the one that we know, we're going to go three terms to the previous, which would be to the left. Here's one term two term, three terms previous. So in this case, f of n minus 3 is now negative 6. So I'll go ahead and write that for my answer. f of n minus 3 equals negative 6. All right, let me go ahead and erase this and reset for the next one. For the next one, it says f of n equals 9 again. But now, they want f of n plus 4. This means four terms after the current term. So again, I'll circle where the 9 was in the outputs. But now I want four terms after. That means I'm going to go four terms to the right. One, two, three, four places. Tells me my f of n plus 4 is going to be 29. And again, I'll write that for my answer. f of n plus 4 is equal to 29. 
And one more time, let me erase this now. And we'll try that last problem. All right, for the last one, they're telling me the output is 19. So I'll find that in the table. F of n equals 19 is right here. In this case, they want two terms prior to the previous. So to do that, I'm going to find two terms that came before it. Here's one, here's two. There's my output. So if I look at this one, and I want to write the answer for f of n minus 2, I would say that f of n minus 2 equals, and then looking back at the table, I see it's 9. I hope this helps you to understand function notation. Thank you for watching this video.